Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's the witch is on uh, Stormer and Frost Beast of Brain Attack Wave 2 from 2013. So, on the front of the backs here, you see Lego logo, Hero Factory logo, but sideways, of course. And then picture of the sets that come within, and and yes, there was a slight bit of the brain bug above and the brain attack logo, but when it was fully sealed and whatnot. But also in names of the sets, and also saying 600 game points to the online and app games that there were that there was, and Frosty saying times one a brain bug included. And age recommendation, set number, and the amount of pieces. And to note, 2013 is when set numbers went up to five digits rather than uh, four, of course. <coughs> and on the back of which, you see another picture of the two, or another picture of them and the accommodation models that they make. and. Also, the how you use the codes for the online game or hero core game core for the app games, of course, and actual size pictures of the helmets and masks, of course. And yeah, <coughs> and now on to the manuals, same picture as on the front of the bags and everything. Extended comic of the uh, brain attack, of course. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. Add of Lego Club. Add for the Brainify app. Add in the combination model that you make. <coughs> and then 600 points to the online game, or online and app game, of course. And the pieces that come with the set and the last building set of him. First off is a Stormer, of course, or Preston Stormer, of course, or otherwise the uh, fifth version of Stormer we got. So you have traditional foot feet pieces like what uh, 2.0 and, and 3.0 both had, and also just about like 3.0 same lower leg build but with the lower limbs in gray instead of black of course and also size four armor pieces like we also saw on evo in the last review of course and that's for his uh, chest plate piece there uh, hang on little chest plate piece there just about the same as all the hero sets and also, the Exoforce hands used as Duralock clamps, but in white, of course. And that's for the arms of which. See, white hand pieces and size 4 armor piece again. And also, this all new piece for him and Frost Beast, of course, is this like piece that's to represent icicles being added onto it outwards and everything and of course these were also common in the Chima build figure sets also released at this time as like scuffs of fur and all so good use of piece to that and they are also good for mocking if you were to make an all icy character of course and as for the sword here oh, which same exact sword piece that uh, Furno XL also had and also a few uh, bits to it, like what Pyrox and also had, and also one of those little knot pieces like we saw on the 2001 Bonacle Terra Kava course for like the punching feature, of course, you know, 
and also do get well on um, both of these sets are these soft rubber spiky pieces which were actually first used in the Chima sets of course but since the two had the build of figure sets at the same time so it kind of makes sense to include both of them in both waves of course but yeah or series yeah and this arm of which does have one of those pieces used for uh, Fernowick XL's shield and also Surge's wings, which you'll also see as Surge's wings, of course. And also, you get probably one of the like uh, flame pieces, like Pyrox also had, but in white and clear blue for to give an icy effect, of course. Although it does kind of resemble the ice blaster thing that. Uh, uh, Stormer 1.0 in 2010 Hero Factory also had, but just made of multiple pieces instead of like one large solid piece, of course, and an actual hand built under it. Quite neat for that. And so now on to the helmet. Yeah, helmet or mask, as you could say. Which I flip up the visor and take that off. See, same headpiece as all the sets of the wave, but all but in dark blue, of course. And the helmet piece, just quite the same as a uh, Stormer 1.0 Breakout uh, helmet, but with a modded it slightly to fit the visor over it. And just like Evo in this wave is in trans blue visor of course but his of which some nice printing to it good touch to there and whereas onto the back of him is <coughs> that common shield piece like it that we first saw in 2.0 of course and also carried on to here but still in silver like what stringer also had of course you know it's for those technic bits to him that you can like flip them up there and he has a couple of flip fire missile those to launch off like so which as you see have two clear blue studs on them oh, whoops. and also I don't get why had to use these clear blue studs, but in in the Nickelodeon special of it, it had the Chima cheat pieces onto it for that. Not sure why, but whatever. But as for Stormer, usually the leader of the Alpha team, of course. Although I think it would have been nice if he were still in XL kind of form, but at least this like medium size form, still fair enough, of course. And that's it with him. <coughs> and now on to Frost Beast. And of course, this is which probably first set of Hero Factory to have Beast in the name. Which until with, with the next year Invasion from Below also well did. Of course. And of course, we also did have that in Generation 2 Bonacle, of course. Let's see, legs of which are the size 3 armor pieces, when I think maybe these, maybe size 4 as well, could have been here. Also in white, would have been nice to get those in white, but whatever. Yeah, and same piece that Stormer also had, and Evil also had. Then also these spike pieces to represent probably icicle effect on him, but also random ones in red, of course. Probably to go along with uh, with the brain bug, of course. And as for the chest of which, as you can see, it does have another one of those icicle pieces, like icicles are kind of growing off of him. And some more of those going on since since of the how the torso is built like which I'll get to in a moment 
and the arms of which quite small and all. But also as for the sword of which, bottom part of which, another one of those Chima spike pieces, of course, and also he of which probably only set of the way to use this kind of sword piece, is which we see a few times in or seen on a couple of the Legend of Chima sets as well, but at least nice to see it in trans blue here, and also nice to have for some uh, ice mocks, of course. And as for this arm piece, still have the Savage Planet uh, animal pot piece, but in white, which nice for mock, great for mocks, and of course, and also the uh, uh, Savage Planet uh, clock pieces, but in trans blue, also great to have, of course. And as for the back part of which, as you can see, it has the coat hanger bar pieces and a few Technic bits holding uh, Gatorian necks and Hordika head pieces. <coughs> Just to hold on, hold all this on to. Although, kind of similar to that of like uh, Generation 2 Bonicle sets or 2015 Bonicle sets where it kind of hung out a bit. But for the gearbox pieces, so kind of interesting how that is. Oh, also same with kind of like Ferno XL and a few others of this line also did. And of course, a couple more of those pieces above, of course. And as for his uh, face mask piece, which is kind of cool, quite cool for that, as with big fangs there and good texture etched in, of course, and Extend it down and yeah, I'll take that off. And of course, the brain bug piece, but in trans light blue, unlike with Aquagon, which was trans dark blue, of course. And underneath, same headpiece as all the sets of the way of this line, of course. And the tail bit uh, attached just about like all the other villain sets. And so now on to the final verdict. <clears throat> Overall, these I think are quite cool sets for the time. Like like good ice theme to them and everything. But yeah. And also Stormer of Witch, a little bit of a downgrade from the uh, last version of the year prior to that, but at least I can kind of forgive it forgive it, but yeah. And Frost Beast of Witch. Some good use of some pieces and both sets of which good use of pieces, of course, and also a few good recolors of pieces, obviously. And of course, some of these recolors were then eventually used in Generation 2 Bonicle set. But yeah. at least good to see some things that were carried over, carried on afterwards. But yeah. Although it would have been nice if those, if the Chima Chi pieces were also used for the flip fire missiles, but Maybe that wouldn't have much. Or cone, simple cone pieces, like, uh, what's the name? Bulk of this wave also had, but, yeah, whatever. And what else? I guess that is it. And so now if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. Oh, and also, these of which equal size and medium size, of which only sets of 2013 to be like that, but although most of which were mostly like a small size versus medium size, or both small size, but whatever. Yes, but at least see that carry over from brain breakout, of course, but yeah. And once again, if y'all still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.